Hey, what is up everybody? Welcome back, back, back to my channel. My name is Frasix and I'm really excited for today's video because I'm going to be reacting to the deluxe tracks that Sabrina Carpenter just released from her album Emails I Can't Send, which was released last year. And if you guys haven't seen my reaction to the entire album, the link for that will be in the description below. I absolutely love that album so much. It was my favorite album of 2022 for so many reasons, mostly because after all the bad things that Sabrina went through the year before, she reclaimed her narrative and she went for a new sound and she made this masterpiece of an album and I absolutely love it so, so, so much. And it also came out during a special time in my life when I was moving, so it also has a special place in my heart because of that. And we all knew that there were gonna be deluxe tracks that were gonna be coming out for this album. We just didn't know when they were gonna be coming out, but now they're gonna be coming out and I'm super excited for them. We are gonna be getting four new songs in these deluxe tracks, which I know may seem like a little bit, but knowing Sabrina, she's gonna be coming out with bangers for each and every one of these songs. So I'm just ready just to get into this. And it's also really exciting because Sabrina is also going to be embarking on her brand new tour this year which I'm going to be going to the one in Kansas City at the end of April so if you guys are going to be going to that one just let me know in the comments down below and then we can just link up and just get together and just fangirl over Sabrina and hopefully I can memorize all these new songs by the time that tour date comes and I think the deluxe tracks are going to be released pretty soon so I'm just going to stop talking and start reacting so without further ado here's my reaction to Sabrina Carpenter's deluxe tracks from her album emails I can't send forward Okay, are you guys ready? Here we go. It just got released, so I'm so ready just to get into this. So the first track that I'm going to be reacting to is called Opposite, and I'm really excited, so let's just get into it. I don't know if it's going to be a happy song or a sad song or what, but... Okay, this is going to be a little bit of a sad bop, I can tell, but it's going to be beautiful, I, I bet. Oh. Oh, okay. I love how she's like talking. She's spilling the tea in this song. Oh, I love the background instruments as well. Come through with the harmonizations. Damn, the lyrics are popping off. Okay, come through with the beat. Hey, it's a little bit sway. I love it. This just keeps on building, yes! Oh, it's so smooth. Oh, love it. Okay, and that was opposite. And oh my gosh, I mean like of course the lyrics are sad. Let's first talk about the lyrics. They are pretty sad saying that, oh, she's wondering why this guy's with this girl and that girl's the complete opposite of her. And that's just so sad to think about, and I'm pretty sure she's talking about, like, based on real life and everything. But, like, the beat and everything, like, the for, I guess I can talk about how she's singing. Like, it's just so soft and subtle and smooth. Just, like, I, I love her voice so much. You guys know that. I adore her ver voice so much. But then, like, the beats and everything it just starts off, like, very bare, very minimum, very subtle. Then it just builds upon bit by bit by bit. And then like at the end, it's just like a little, it's like a constant smooth beat. And I absolutely love that so much. And I love this song. It's really, like I, I thought I was, I, I didn't know how I was going to react to it at first. But like towards the end, I was like, okay, I could get into this. So I, I really like this song. Anyways, the next song off of Emails I Can't Send Forward is called Feather. It's a little bit over three minutes. So just let's get into it. Oh, okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a bop, huh? Okay, a little bit of a funky bop. Let's get into this. Hi, oh, oh, breathe, girl, breathe. Yes, cut him off. Okay, okay. I, I love that. Hey. A bitch, huh? Ooh, it's like I and then low. You miss me, no duh. She knows she's a bad bitch. Okay, and that was Feather. And I didn't know what to expect with this song, but like after hearing it, I was like, oh my gosh, it's such. 
like a chill bop, but it's like an anthemic bop at the same time because she's saying that I am light as a feather without you. I'm feeling good. I, I'm, I'm so good. I know I'm a bad bitch and you wish you could have me back, but no, I'm not going to take you back. So I love that. I love that message. It's, it's, it's a bop. It's a bop. I can't wait to hear this on tour, that's for sure. Okay, the next song off of this track list is called Lonesome, and I feel like this might be a little bit of a sad song, so we'll see how this goes. That's not how I expected that to start, with this come through with this like western country beat. Oh, this is gonna be so sad, huh? Damn. Mmm, mm, I love the mmm. She's she speaks truth. She's speaking the truth. Ooh, come through with that. Ooh, come through with this like Western country outro. Okay. Okay, and that was lonesome and I did not expect that to go the way that it did But like it's it's a it's like a sad but happy song at the same time But I, it's very chill. It's very chill. It's not what I thought it was gonna be It's kind of in the vicinity of what I thought it was gonna be but overall like the lyrics the production her voice You, you know, I love her voice again. It's so good. Ah oh, gosh anyway, so the last and final track off of the deluxe version of this album is called Things I Wish You Said. And apparently this is a very sad song. So we'll see how it is. It's under three minutes. So let's just, let's just see how this goes. Come through with the subtle guitar. Oh no. Oh, her voice, it's like, like raw, but it's like very like trembly at the same time and soft. Oh, she went low with her voice. See, it's like... Okay. Come through with the harmonizations as well. Oh. Oh gosh, this is so sad. Like, it's simple, it's subtle, but the vocals... Been there. Yes, saying with a little bit of force. Idiotic things. Oh, and that was things I wish you said. And I feel like out of all the songs, not just on the deluxe tracks, but like for all of the tracks on emails I can't send, I feel like this is the most. This is a song that I feel like I can imagine her like actually typing out an email and wanting to send it or a text or something and wanting to send it but at the end of the day she doesn't send it but this is the stuff that she wishes that she sh that she could have said or that he could have said to her but at the end of the day it's like there's not much else you can do because they're done, they're they're broken off and she feels horrible about it and like he's trying to move on and she knows that and it's just a mess. It's such a mess and I feel like this song captures that beautifully with the lyrics, with her voice, the, the guitar, like everything. It's just constant smooth sadness and I absolutely love that so much and I feel like it really fits the vibe and I really feel like it really encompasses the like overall message of emails I can't send. And uh, yeah, so that is all of the deluxe tracks off of emails I can't send. And overall, I did not, I didn't know what to really expect when going into these deluxe tracks, but from after like hearing it, it's definitely a lot more subtle and a lot more laid back than a lot of the other tracks on the album. I do wish that she would have uh, released Wife and Space and Dust in these deluxe tracks because I guess we're never gonna see, there was a never gonna see the light of day and I was really looking forward to it. I mean, of course, Wife got leaked and then Space and Dust, she only released the one that she released on social media, but I wish she would have released the full thing. But I guess it's fine. 
Overall, I really do like appreciate her artistry and she continues to grow and evolve with her lyrics and her sound and everything. So I really do applaud her for that. And I just honestly cannot wait to hear all these live on tour. Like I said, I'm going to be going to the Kansas City show. So if you guys are going to be going to that, definitely let me know in the comments down below. And that's pretty much it for me guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really did enjoy reacting to these deluxe tracks. Uh, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all the usual things, follow my social media accounts just to keep up with everything that I do. And until the next video, the wonder won't stop. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Boom.